71,500 5, 71, centiliters. Uh, this is like 0. 0.0014 or something like that. I can't remember exactly. Um, this is 3.82, I believe. This is 614 or 27 or something. Oh, right. 6.5. Yeah, sure. Yeah, 6. Yep, 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 yep. That is 2,144 or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it is. But again, it doesn't matter because the important part is that you have uh, done the math. So for that, you would have gone yards to inches to millimeters. Or yards to inches to centimeters to millimeters. It's something like that. Uh, this one... Uh, I cannot remember. It's a big number. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. 992,250. This is uh, 39 feet, one inch, I think. 32 feet, one inch. This is 6,100. This is 16, no, nine pounds, six pounds, eight ounces or something. Six pounds. 13 ounces. All one mark out of nine. This is uh, four and um, 11 sixteenths, but I will accept anything between five eighths and three quarters because the photocopying is bad, yes? This is eight and five eighths but I will accept anything between 8 and 9 sixteenths and 8 and 11 sixteenths for one mark each for a total of two. And this is 10.5 liters, I believe. Um, and remember, if the question says he has to buy it by the liter, how many liters does he need to buy? The question doesn't say that. It just says how many liters. But if he asks how many liters he needs to buy and it's sold by the liter, he must buy how many liters? 11. 11. What if it was 10.2? Still 11. That's out of 2, making this page out of 9 and 4, 13. Uh, this page, I do not remember this number, but uh, surface area is uh, 80... 200, 8 by 25, 4, so nope, I lie, uh, 200, the back side is 6 by 25 is 150, and the bottom is 250, and that side is 96. So it's uh, 400, 480, 680, uh, 730, 830, 880, uh, 980 minus 4, 976 <clears throat> centimeters squared. <clears throat> and volume, this is, of course, oh, I lie. 6 by 8, this is 48. So it's 400, uh, 650, uh, 800, 880, and 48 is... 928. Sorry about that. And then, of course, this is 24 plus 80 is uh, 104. 104 times 25, whatever that is. Uh, 2,100. Right? All students with bio tickets and teacher permission can now proceed down to the gym. That's all huh? students who have bio tickets and teacher permission are allowed to head down uh, to the gym. Oh, jeez. Uh, that's four. I was I left the 80 there because that was surface area was 80 there. So it's 64 times 25, which is um, uh, 60 times 25 is... Uh, what'd you get, Jordy? Yeah, that sounds right. Yep. 
Uh, this one, uh, the surface area is 2, um, 8 by 4 plus 18 by 4 plus, plus 18 by 8 minus 2 by 9 is 18 minus 36. So 88, that's not 8 by, that's 8 by 4. 32 plus um, 72 plus 18 by 8 is 180 minus 36. 144 is uh, 104 and 144 is 248 times 2 is 496 minus 36, 460. And volume is uh, 9 by 4 is 36, and 9 by 2 is 18, which is 54 times 8, which is 320, and 4 times 8 is 32, so 352. That doesn't seem right. 9, right? 9 by 4 is 36, 9 by 2 is 18. 54, 54 by 8, 2, carry the 3, 432. There we go. Sometimes the guy's got to write it down, hey? Out of 2 each. Can't do it all in your head. This one, <clears throat> only wanted surface area. 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. 2 pi times 25 plus 2 pi times 75. 150 and 50, 200 pi, or 614 blah, I don't care. Hopefully you wrote it as that. This one, did anybody try it other than Jordy? What did you get? 1.8? That's it? You're all right. Get your gummy bears. I don't have enough in there. Uh, draw the net of a cone, circle and a section of a circle, and the surface area is pi r squared plus pi r slant. Pi times 18 squared plus pi times 18 times 30. 18 squared is 324. 324 pi, 18 times 30 is 540 pi which is 840, 864 pi. And find the volume and surface area of a sphere with that radius. 4 pi times 28 cubed divided by 3. It's a gigantic number. It's like 29,000. Pi, right? 21,952 pi. Exactly? No decimals? No. Uh, like, oh, 29,269 and a third. Yeah. Okay, so 29,269.33 pi, or a third pi. And surface area is 4 pi r squared, um, 4 pi times 28 squared. 28 squared is uh, 28 times 28, which is 400. And, oh, I can't do that in my head. Uh, it's going to be close to 900 and um, close to 33,000. So, I don't know what it is. It's around 3,000 pi. Oh, I remember. It's 3,136 pi. And then this thing on the bottom, I don't really care about. It's not even on your pages, is it? Something I added in later, I was going to do it, but I changed my mind. Uh, that page was out of 2 and 2, or wait, 2 and 4, so that was out of 6. And that page was out of 2, 4. Wait a minute. Those were out of four each. So eight and 10 on that page. So 10 and six is 16 and 13, it is out of 29. And we move onward. Where did I leave you people? Uh, we did angles in the real world. Uh, I left you with page 254. There shouldn't have been any trouble with 254 except pa.
possibly number 19 and 20. You had the answers there. Are you able to understand them? 19 and 20, we are good. Excellent. All right, we move onward. Onward and upward. Today is a one-second lesson on this page with some work. And then another one-second lesson. And then we'll do a few together. And then you're going to work on your own today. Until that is what we will be doing Monday. Now, ladies and gentlemen, test is Friday. Tomorrow on measurement. It should have been today. It is tomorrow. Um, if because of that one missed day, there is, there is a possibility we will not do one of the things we are going to do that I was planning to do in trig. It does not matter because the thing I am going to make sure we do in trig is the thing that is in uh, both pre-calc 11 and IV first year. I am going to make sure you see that before you go into those places cold. All right? The other one is just filling in a formula. So if you haven't seen that before, you're not going to have any trouble with it then. Okay? Okay. Uh, so everybody was cool with those pages. Let us then move on to whatever page this is. And again, you have seen this already. This is page 255. Boom, boom, boom. Theta. Big A. Big B. Big C. What is this side right here? Little A. What is this side right here? Little C. What is this side right here? Little D. B, I mean. B. What is the tan of A? Little A over... No. Little A over B. What is the tan of B? B over A. You've all done trig before, so I'm going very quickly. If I wanted C and you only knew tan, you couldn't find me C until you did tan and Pythagoras, right? But of course, we don't have to do that because you are all well aware you can make another fraction here using the letter C. And that is the sine and the cosine. The sine ratio. Now, does the sine ratio work with angle C? It does work with the angle C. Does tan work with the angle C? No. The reason sine works with the angle C is because of what sine is. Sine compares the opposite side to the hypotenuse. But remember, opposite means what? Across. So, if we are at C... What is the opposite side to C? Big C. What letter is it? Little C. What is the hypotenuse? Little C. What is C divided by C? One. With your calculator, do sine 90. And what do you get? Don't bother. You don't have it out. Sine 90. One. Okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, yeah? Okay. Cosine compares the, your intelligent young people, and you've seen it before, adjacent to the hypotenuse. Now, there's a problem with this. What does adjacent mean? It means beside, right? Now, with tan, it's easy, right? Because beside is the angle, the side that is touching it, but isn't the hypotenuse, right? Does that work with cos or work with C? What are the sides that are beside C that are not the hypotenuse? Both A and B, yes? So you do not know which one I seek, right? 
So what happens there if you try to do the cos of 90? If you go to your calculator and you do cos 90, cos 90, you get zero. Okay, because you can't do it. All right? Okay. All you have to do is remember that fake word. You've all seen it before. You know it to death. Sine, opposite, hypotenuse, cos, adjacent, hypotenuse, tan, opposite, adjacent. Now, I, of course, like to remember it this way. S O over H C A over H T O over A because these are all ratios. They are not the angle. All right? They are not a measurement. They are a ratio. Kind of like saying the circumference is pi over D. Okay? Or the circumference is pi times... Damn it. Pi is circumference divided by diameter. Pi isn't a measurement, is it? It's what you get when you take the circle, circumference of any circle and divide it by its diameter. It's not a measurement. Just like these are not a measurement. Okay? But every angle has one of these ratios. Cool? I like to draw a triangle here just to remind you. A, B, A. Uh, I am actually going to change the letters, so this is B. And I've done this on purpose. Well, I didn't. I started doing it as an a by accident, but now I'm, making, I'm leaving it there on purpose. So what is this side here? You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this side here? Lil A. What's this side here? Lil C. What's this side here? Lil B. What is the sine, cos, tan of A? What's the sine of A? Sine of A. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. What's the sine of A? No. Sine of angle A. Opposite over hypotenuse. What is opposite of angle A? Little A over little B. What is the cos of angle A? Little c over b. What's the tan of angle a? A over c. What is the sine, cos, tan of angle b? What's the sine of angle b? Oh, sorry, we can't do angle b. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What's the sine of ang sine, cos, tan of angle c? C over B. What is the cos of C? A over, B. a over B. What is the tan of C? C over A. Please notice the relationship. The sine of A is the cos of the other one. The cosine of A is the sine of the other one. And tans are in or uh, reciprocals. Gouda? Great. Let's check this out. Now, do you think anything changes from tan? Of course not. We do this the exact same way. Do I have a theta? What is it? Twelve. Once I have twelve, that means I am living right there, right? Well, let's draw me properly. Gray hair. And because I can read the internet, and the internet said school was closed today, I did not get up and shower. So I have gray stubble. And then I have my eyes. And then I'm sad because people who punch in things on websites don't know how to do it. And they're getting paid good money to do so. So I am here now, right? which means this is the point of view I'm looking at the triangle. So what does that make that? Opposite equals x. What does that make that? Opposite. 
the hypotenuse because the hypotenuse is always across from the right angle. So now all I got to do is decide. I'm, I got O and H. What do I use? Sine. Sine theta equals O over H. And then you just fill it in. Sine 12 equals X over 25. How do I get rid of divided by 25? Multiply. 25 sine 12 equals X. And we're stopping there. I'm not even going to get you to punch into your calculator. Okay? Because I know you can all do that. This is the math. The answer comes from your calculator. This is the math. And when you move ahead later in life, you're going to leave it like that until the very, very end. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? Like if we had to do more than one calculation here, we would leave this like this, just like we leave 64 pi until the very end because we don't want to round until the very end. If we punch this in right now, we're going to get a big long decimal and we're going to run around it off, right? We don't need to do that here. Everybody cool? All right. Well, technically, would we do that here? Technically? Yeah, of course, because that is the end of the question, right? But I don't need you to do that, and I'm going to show you why in a minute, okay? What about this next one? Do I have a theta? Yes. What is it? 19. 19. Then that means I, with my sad and stubbly face, is down here. So what do I know now? Hypotenuse is X, adjacent is 40. What uses A and H? So, cos of theta, 19, equals A, 40, over H, X. How do you solve that? Right, X equals 40 over cos 19. And we would get that number normally, right? Okay, what about this last one? Do I have a theta? What is it? X. So that means stubbly faced me is right there, right? So what does that make what I have left? A is 13. H is 22. What uses A and H? Cos theta is 13 over 22. Hey, wait a minute. I don't know theta, so what do I have to do? What finds me the angle? Shift cos theta, right? Shift cos theta equals, and then we would do whatever the angle is. Do we round angles off to any decimals or whole numbers? Whole numbers. Everybody cool? These are one steppers. These, you should be able to do these in your sleep, right? And I've given you a page of practice for them, yes? You can do them later. 261, we're going to do one more thing, then I'm going to shut up, and you're going to work on 261. And 260. Okay, solve the triangle. If you solve a case, what do you do? You find the answer, right? So what do you think solve a triangle means? Find the answer. How many answers does this triangle need? Three. Why three? Because there's three missing pieces of information, right? There's three unknowns. So to solve this triangle, it means solve, find all angles and all sides. Now, this is when we're going to talk about what, we, what I just talked about, right? Where we leave things alone. So right now, I have some information. I got a theta. Yes, what is it? 65. Now, that means that's where I am. I'm too lazy to draw my face. There I am. Yes? So what does that make that 41? Opposite equals 41. Now, what is this side right here? It's adjacent, but I need to give it a letter, right? Because it's unknown, RJ. Right? So what letter should I write right here? You could use X, you could use Y, but we should use C, right? Because it's across from big C. So what should I write here? Little B. Yeah? Okay. So now, 
adjacent to me is what? Little c, right? Hypotenuse is what? Little b. That's all the information I have, yes? Right? So now what can I do? There's no right way, there's no right order. What would you do, RJ? Uh, don't you like, if you go 90? Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. Oh, okay, so that's all the numbers. You would find the third angle? Yeah. Okay, so RJ says he would do big C equals 90 minus 65. Why? What is that certain number? 180. 180. So how big is angle C? 25. Right. Okay. Now, if RJ did that first, could he then put 25 up here and make it theta? Would that be okay? Yeah. I don't like doing that. I personally work with what I can see right now, just so I don't make an error, right? Because it's possible I could subtract this in my head and not do it right. Or, conversely, I could punch into my calculator and not punch it in right, right? It's possible to punch in subtraction poorly on your calculator. Okay, so what should I, what could I do here? I don't want to say should because there's no right way to do it. What is one option I could do with this black ink right now? Jordy. So Jordy would go tan 65 equals 41 over A. Oh, C, C, sorry. 41 over C, right? So what would C equal? 41 over tan 65. Agreed? Okay. And then what could you do? You have two options now. Since you now know what C is, you could do Pythagoras, couldn't you? Right? Because Pythagoras would say B squared equals the square root of 41 squared plus 41 over 1065 squared, yes? Now there's a problem here. If you want the best possible answer and you did 41 over 1065, you get a whole bunch of decimals, right? And all of you would round it off, wouldn't you? And you would put a rounded number here, yes? And then you would use that rounded number to find the hypotenuse, yes? And you would get very close, but would it be the best possible answer? No, the best possible answer is I square this whole decimal. No rounding. Everybody with me? So let me ask again. Should I, even though I could, would using a hypotenuse be a good idea right now? Or Pythagoras, I mean. No, because this is kind of yucky, yeah? I don't want to use Pythagoras if I can avoid it because this is yucky. Especially because, don't I also know that sine 65 equals 41 over B? So don't I know that B equals 41 over sine 65? And now, can I find everything without worrying about rounding? Everybody with me? Now I would go to my calculator. All right? Now, now, what was the operative pronoun in that sentence? I would go to my calculator after I did all of my trick. So I wouldn't screw up the rounding. If you go right there, do it, round it, and then use Pythagoras. Am I going to give you full marks? Oh yeah, I will. But what if I were marking you on that one, two, three, four scale? Would that exceed my expectations? That would be my expectations, that you would find these numbers and round them. That would get you a three. Everybody cool? Exceeding my expectations would be not touching your calculator until the very last thing you need to do. Does everybody understand? If I saw all this with decimal answers, that would get you the four 
if I was using that scale. Everybody with me? And next year, if you go into IB, that is the type of scale they use. It's a lot more complicated than meets expectations, exceeds expectations. But if you read through it, those words are in there, aren't they? Shows a deep understanding of the mathematical concepts. Need, like, oh my God, shut up. Everybody with me? Okay. So that is this page. Everybody cool? Yeah? Okay. Um, we're not going to do that. Nine on page 262. <clears throat> I think it's 262 for you guys. 262 through 266 is what I want to see for Monday. This thing at the top, don't worry about it. Now listen to me. What is missing on 262 to 266 that you have had every question so far? You've had the triangle up till now, haven't you? So what do you need to do on 262 to 266? Make a triangle. Hey, RJ, is this art class? Uh, no. no. Do your triangles have to look pretty? No. When this guy's standing on a soccer field, do I need to see a soccer field? No, because the trig question, right? What do I need to see? A triangle, right? He's standing on the soccer field looking over at the school. There's the school, right? There's the wall. Do I need to see all that? No, what do I need to see? A triangle. Ike's on the ground. Walls go up in the air. There's your triangle. Do trig. Everybody understand? Don't be dumb. You can draw a triangle any way you want. As a matter of fact, I often don't even think about it. I just go boom, boom. Oops, that's a crap one. Boom, boom. I make a big L with a 90 degree. There's my triangle. And then I start working from there. Everybody cool? Now, sometimes that's not going to work for you, right? Sometimes you got to think about it. Yeah? But for the most part, all you need is a triangle. If you're in doubt, draw a triangle and work from there. Everybody cool? And you have until Monday to do all of that. But right now you have 25 minutes to do the first like 15 questions, which are all one steppers, aren't they? Sine cos tan. Number times sine cos tan or number divided by sine cos tan, right? You should walk out of here with only 262 to 264 to work on. And I'm giving you till Monday to do it because tomorrow is your test on measurement. Sir, Av, may I borrow that sheet of paper from you right now? Sure. This sheet of paper you may use for your test. I'm going to be walking around during your test. If I see 50 million every square millimeter of this page covered with notes... I'm going to take it away from you and give you a fresh one. Everybody understand? This one, Sarav, has a couple of little notes on here. Like, he has one foot equals 0. 0.3048 centimeters. He, or meters. He's written that on here. Am I okay with that? Of course I am. Because on the page it says one foot is 30.48 centimeters. It's already there, that information. Picking up what I'm putting down? Okay. A reasonable amount of of ink or pencil shavings on this page is acceptable, right? Why do you think I'm doing this? Because I've had kids take their pencils and spend an entire evening covering every square millimeter of this in notes. Okay? Now, you might say, well, why is that a problem? And I say, you're right. Why is it a problem? It isn't if the kid did it himself or herself. Or itself. But if they copied it from somebody else, then it's not doing them any good. But if they did it themselves, they took forever to write down all this math, yes? As a math teacher, am I happy when kids are doing and reading about math? 
So who really wins? Me. So that's why I don't usually care too much. Most of you, I would believe, actually sat down and wrote everything on here. Or at least got together and did it. Because you're in the pre-dip class. But don't. Okay? Go. Go.